I recently saw a question about using a parametric sine wave to create a grip on a surface, so I thought I'd make a video. To do this, I'll be using the Discretize tool from the Curves Workbench. If you don't already have the Curves Workbench installed, I highly recommend it. You can get it from the Add-on Manager. Starting in the Part Workbench, create a sketch on the XY plane. We want three lines crossing the y-axis, one on the x-axis, one above that, and one below. Make sure the horizontal auto constraint is applied. Apply a length constraint to any one of the three lines. It doesn't matter which one. Name that constraint wavelength and set a value of 50 millimeters. Select all three lines and set an equals constraint. For each line, select both the endpoints and then the y-axis and set a symmetry constraint. Just a note. I did this after setting a length constraint since very occasionally when setting symmetry on an unconstrained line, it decides that the greatest symmetry is when both endpoints are coincident and the line collapses into nothing. Now select an endpoint of the lower line, then the upper line, then the middle line, and set a symmetry constraint. This will make the lines equidistant. Finally, select an endpoint of the middle line and the upper line, and set a distance constraint. Name the constraint amplitude and give it a value of 20 millimeters. Close the sketch. Now for each of those lines, select the line in the 3D view, and then the Discretize tool from the Curves Workbench. I've conveniently added that tool to a custom toolbar available in the Part Workbench. Select all three of the Discretized edges, and in the Data Pane, set the number to 5. To see the points a little better, Select all three discretized edges and in the view pane set the point size to 8. Keep in mind this is not affecting the geometry. It just changes the presentation to make the points more visible. One final thing. This is to be a parametric design, but if we leave it like this, changing the wavelength will not space out the points. They'll still be grouped just as they are now on the line. This is due to a parameter available in the data pane called Parameter Last. Select the discretized edges and in Parameter Last, set the formula sketch.constraints.wavelength. That way, when the wavelength changes, the points are redistributed correctly over the entire length of the line rather than staying where they are. Unfortunately, unlike simple parameter changes, Setting this value with all three discretized edges only changes the first one. We're going to have to select each one in turn and set the same formula for each. So now we have the points for guidance, but we need the actual sine wave. Open up one of the discretized edges to select and hide the sketch away, leaving just the points. Create a new sketch on the XY plane. The sine wave will start on the first point in the center line, move up to the second point on the top line, back down to the third point of the center line, which is also the origin, to the fourth point in the lower line, and finally back up to the final point of the center line. Bring in those points as external geometry. It's not going to allow selecting the third point on the center line, which corresponds with the origin, but that's okay. The origin is already available for use. Select the B-spline tool and click on the external points plus the origin in order to create the sine wave. Right-click after selecting the last point to terminate the B-spline, and there we have our sine wave. Close the sketch. But that's just a line. We need something that can be extruded into a grip. Select Sketch 001, the sketch with the sine wave, and create a 2D offset. Check the Fill Offset box. Keep the default 1mm offset. 
and there's our sine wave ready to be extruded as needed. This seems like a good place to stop for now. In the next video, I'll use the Lattice 2 workbench to make the sign into a nice gripping surface. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video or found it useful, please like, subscribe, and share. If there's anything you'd like to see covered here, please let me know in the comments below.